Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about why I think that this is the most underrated camera especially for beginners but also for people who have been shooting film for a long time or who are professional photographers and are just trying their first steps in film photography. This is the best camera to get and I don't understand why not everybody is talking about it. So first, the camera is super easy to use. It's not overwhelming. It has all of the necessary functions without any anything extra essentially. So all you can do is choose the film that you're going to put in it, so that's your ISO, choose the aperture, choose the speed, and that's it. And even though it's pretty simple to use, you still got a lot of control. You got the control over everything that's important. That's all you need to really start. And still, after shooting for almost 10 years, this is my favorite camera to use. This camera was introduced in the 60s, and it was actually the first one to introduce through the lens metering which essentially means that when you look through the camera in your viewfinder you will see a light meter which tells you whether or not your image is correctly exposed so if you're not super comfortable with what you're doing like most beginners are then this is really good to start because you can just see in the lens um, what it does to open the aperture or what it does to stock down the the time so it's very responsive and works really well another great feature is that it actually has a lot of options when it comes to lenses. And this is something that I feel pretty strongly about, specifically for beginners. Just because you're a beginner does not mean that you have to start with a point and shoot camera. Please go ahead and start with one that has a detachable lens because that's gonna immediately give you so much more creative freedom and it's gonna make you feel confident in what you're doing. It's gonna make you feel like a real photographer. And it's just nice to have the options. And this specific camera has a lot of options from wide angle to 55 is what I usually shoot with to telephoto. It has a lot of options and the more advanced you get in photography, you also realize that the body of a camera isn't really as important as the lens. And so that's why I think it's important to give yourself options from the very beginning. And then kind of tying into the lens thing, these are really cheap. You can get these for probably around $100, maybe even less and i think the only reason is because they don't have a hype online nobody's talking about them and it's not one of those cameras that got pretty artificially inflated because a celebrity was seen using them or because they kind of have like a cult following that's all fair but this one doesn't have that and i think that's the only reason why it's not more expensive and because there were a lot of these made when they came out in the 60s so yeah get yourself one of these and Usually they come with a lens, but don't be afraid to buy a body and then buy a lens separately. It's okay, it's fine. And you can usually send things back if you don't like it. And then on top of being really cheap when you get them, if you get one of these, it's probably gonna last you for the rest of your life. These are so durable and sturdy. They're mostly metal, not a lot of plastic. Because they're not that big, like you can see I have kind of small hands and they fit perfectly. Because it's not that big, it's not as heavy as you would expect from a predominantly metal machine. And they're just built really, really well. None of mine have broken so far, knock on wood. And yeah, you can probably drop them and they'll be fine. Actually, I know for sure that you can drop them and they'll be fine. Don't try it though. They're pretty weather sealed. So don't stand in the pouring rain with them, but definitely feel free to use them with a little bit of like drizzle, rain drizzle going on it's gonna be fine. Yeah, and you can see even the ones that have wear and tear on them. And that's another thing. If you're buying cameras from the 60s or 70s, it's okay if they have scratches. It doesn't matter. As long as the, the image quality and the mechanics work, don't worry about cosmetic scratches or anything like that. It's fine. These are old cameras and they're made to be very, very sturdy and long lasting. And they're also really beautiful. I just like the way they look. Very, very classy, classic as well and it's just nice, it's nice to carry it around. I feel very proud of it, <laughs> for no real reason at all. So yes, these are reliable, they're cheap, they're very versatile. You can grow with them, you can start as a beginner and you can shoot full weddings on this. And then this is something that doesn't really make that much sense to me. I don't understand why this is not more popular. It's a beautiful camera and it's just great. Um, very ergonomic. Yeah, it's just a well-designed camera. So it's really nice in your hands. The viewfinder is awesome. Everything's good about this camera. So there's my opinion. I actually thought about the other day whether or not I should just buy maybe 10 of these because they are so cheap. 
and then wait until someone discovers how amazing they are and then make a lot of money off of them but I haven't yet I do have a few of these but I'm planning to shoot with them forever until they give out on me I can just really recommend it for really anyone Any, everyone in real life that has asked me what camera they should get I always say this one you can get them for less than a hundred dollars and they're just amazing I love them so much I love this one so much and I really almost want to keep it to myself it's just so that I have a unlimited supply of these for the rest of my life but here I am sharing it because I really do believe in it um, so yeah I hope that this was a good video to watch I do have a few other cameras that I could review some of them are fairly new so I don't have that much that many opinions about the about them yet this one I do have a lot of opinions on please share with me in the comments whether or not you've shot with one before or if you've seen one or if you have a similar camera that um, I might want to check out so yeah that's all thanks for watching